Hello, welcome to another episode in the Shave and Chat series brought to you by The Razor Company. I'm Jeff, and tonight we are going to be showcasing Declaration Grooming. And specifically tonight, Yuzu Rose Patchouli. I'll be lathering, it's already been soaking, with a Smoke Owners Club in Taj Resin Bore, one of my favorite brushes, and a vintage Gillette Tech Ball End, date code E2, I think it's a 1958. I'm going back and forth with this. Should be easy, right? But it's a beautiful little razor. So, Chatelon, uh, Chatelon Lux, Chat, Chatelon Lux. <laughs> I butchered that in the French, but hey, the last name's Paris, I gotta try. So, uh, the Smoke Owners Club. Um, bore in Taj Resin. I really enjoy this brush. It's uh, really simple in its presentation. Um, the metal ring really sets off the uh, ivory color resin and the bore hair really nice and the, um, what do you call it, the uh, loft is fairly short so it's got great backbone, great flow, uh, flow through and it really easily makes nice lather. So. Yuzu Rose Patchouli, Declaration Grooming, and collaboration with Shayon Lux. So Declaration Grooming, this is their milk steak base. And uh, the Razor Company carries several of their milk steak base scents. And Declaration Grooming, Scott, who is the owner and scent maker. All right, I've got a nice paste going already. Done. I'm going to marinate in my scuttle. It's warm. I tend to notice that sitting in a warm scuttle for a few minutes helps with um, hydrating. So my face is dry tonight, so I'm going to use grooming department. Appreciate it. This stuff is kind of wizardry to me. A little bit goes a long way. I guess it's wizardry to me because, you know, men's skin care is not exactly an important thing growing up. Wash your face with Irish Spring or wherever you got, or nothing. Move on with your day. So learning skincare, well, it's just kind of amazing how well some of this stuff works. All right. It's my grooming department. And um, according to the directions, a moist base and work it into your face for about a minute. Don't rinse it off. All right. So Declaration Grooming was once known as L and L Grooming. I can't remember what the L stand for. They've gone through a few bases. The classic Bison, I believe, and then Icarus, which I have one of, and the Weinstrauss. That's a good one. And now Milk Steak. And Milk steak is a top-notch base. It's extremely slick, great density. It's thirsty, it takes a lot of water. I'm dipping my brush tips directly in my sink. So for Use the rose patchouli. They uh, collaborated with uh, Sean Mayer of Chalion Luke's. And they've done so for several cents. Use the rose patchouli, being one, um, a Chestnut Street, La Petite Prairie, Unconditional Surrender. 
big square several Chedion looks are providing the scent oh my gosh this stuff is it's fun yeah the gluey I should put my skull down it's making a lot of noise I don't even need to hold it um providing the scent and Scott from the Declaration Grooming providing the soap. Match made in heaven, in my opinion. This stuff is, I mean, the two of them together make these just amazing scents. Now, Scott from Declaration Grooming makes his own scents, um, one of them being Dark Fall, which is in my top 10 favorite scents. My top three scents in Declaration Grooming would be. That I've tried. It'd be Dark Fall, La Petite Prairie, another Shaggy on Looks, and um, this one, Use of Rose Patchouli. Well, Wine Strauss. Yeah, that's tough. Anyway, used to be Shaggy on Looks made the ashes and toners, and of course the um, Wada Toilettes, um, but eventually, I think. Sean of Shady and Luke's got too busy with his uh, mayor olfactive um, fragrance line and gave the manufacturing to Scott. So Scott is now making the splashes for the collaborative scents. Not a bad thing. These are excellent splashes. They have plenty of skin food and all that. All right. I could totally add more water to this. In fact, it's I should because I'm using a very mild razor. I don't want to clog up. Gillette Tech Vintage. I bought this at a hardware, uh, not a hardware store, <laughs> an antique store. Um, it still had the paper blade spacer in it. Gillette 7 o'clock, third use, I believe. I mark it with a Sharpie so I don't know how many uses. I see two remnants of lines. It's been a while. These are lovely little guys. Nice weight, comfortable handle. They're a mild shaver. They have nice chrome. I have about 36 hours of growth. One of the things I love about these mild razors, is they're so comfortable. And you just kinda about cutting yourself. I mean, it still happens. Now, I feel like I got lucky with this little guy. I found it. At a local. And I got it for basically $15. That's probably a pretty standard, but holy cow, the thing looks the mint. It still looks mint. It's a beautiful little razor. All right. Now, I almost wanted to wet my face again. According to Mo Mohammed at grooming department, you shouldn't do that. You don't want to lose that good stuff from that pre-shave. Which is all incorporated into my lather and my brush now. Hmm. So, the scent of yuzu rose patchouli. <clears throat> this is important. This is part of the reason I chose this. It is, um, according to the lid and the label, it is a three note accord. 
And when I say accord, I mean that, that the fragrance itself, that the overall architecture of the fragrance is built on a top, a middle or heart, and a base using rose patchouli. Now, um, this one's particular and interesting to me in that it can build such a good smelling fragrance with such a simple accord of three notes. Um, oddly enough, you know, thinking about the three notes using rose and patchouli, rose is the only one that I've ever actually you know, smelled a natural representative of. I'd love to smell yuzu. It's an Asian citrus. And patchouli, you know, I grew up kind of in red state kind of affair, and patchouli was always associated with hippies. And I've come to learn that, heck, I might be a hippie because I love patchouli. Um, got a lot of work to do. This stuff's nice and thick, nice and slick. I feel like I have a pretty good lather going here. I can definitely add more water. I don't have to feel like I can add water for 30 minutes. BS you guys' ears off. This is what I consider my against the grain. You know. Or not against the grain, I'm sorry. Cross the grain. You know, of course. Wow, little fella. Love the audible feedback. Makes clean up a chore. I mean, not a chore. Makes clean up a chore. Uh, easy. Nice. Yeah, I can definitely add more water. This uh, fragrance I respect that they can make something so nice with three nuts You know typically some sort of companies, you know They'll have a sandalwood and a, you know, Bergamot lavender or lavender just you know single note And obviously some Looks like the kitchen sink. Of course, it depends on what they're going for. Oh man, this one to me, off the tub, and when you lather it, it's rose heavy. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. With that rose, you get the bright yuzu citrus. And then it's almost a heady depth, I think brought in by the patchouli. Now if you go look at the water toilet on Shayamuk's website, he mentions there's a touch of neroli, white floral. That's, I think, in the top note. That's pretty, at least in the, in the literature he's presented to help the yuzu. Neroli is not mentioned in the soap. Or splash notes. But this has been a fun one for me. I've been uh, in the artisan shaving hobby for about a year and a half. And it was actually Declaration Groomies in Dark Fall that made me realize 
Oh, the fragrance guy. I'm all in this for the scent. So learning about accords and the interplay of fragrance. has been one of the core drivers in this hobby for me. Love the smells. I got a lot in my nose. <laughs> a lot of smells. So slick. And mild razor. It's one thing, you know, I have enough soap overloading. I don't really worry about it anymore. And another good thing about overloading I like got plenty for cleanup. Our smoke Owners Club holds quite a bit. A little weeper. Hmm. Another good thing about overloading. With these higher inner base bases is they have skin food in them. Feed your skin. Oh, scent on this one's. It's not like grandma's rose. It's it's a nice deep scent just with this nice bright zing on the head. So when it's too much off. Um, a really fun thing about Declaration Grooming Splashes is when you buy the bottle, they include a little, a wee little bottle of menthol. Oh, I'm not going to dig around for it. Anyway, it's about this big. You can put a little in, you can put all of it in, or you can put none of it in. It's up to you. I tend to put all of it in. I kind of like the menthol. There's lots of skin food in this stuff. Alcohol based. Little burn. It smells fantastic. Feels great. Don't get the menthol in your eyes. I might just have. Oh man. Oh, oh. Rosy cheeks. So. Tonight, the Razor Company, Shave and Chat, <laughs> showcased Declaration Grooming, and um, enjoyed talking about fragrance accords, and hopefully taught you some stuff, or made you uh, appreciate the fragrance a little more. I have no idea. And uh, uh, Declaration Grooming, Chatillon Lux, um, collaborative, Yuzu Rose Patchouli Splash. Uh, I do have a YouTube channel if you like listening to me ramble. Um, it's linked below. So thanks once again. Jeff Paris signing out. Bye.